be in Las Vegas. Um, I actually make an annual pilgrimage here uh, because... Uh, Meet John Podesta. He's the chairman of the Hillary for America presidential campaign. He worked for Obama and was once Bill Clinton's White House chief of staff. Hey. Hi, Mr. Podesta. How are you? Pleasure to meet you. What's your name? My name's Chris. Hey, Chris. Good to see you. We met him not long ago when journalists with Project Veritas Action were investigating Clinton campaign activities in Nevada. Keep up the, keep up the fight. Hey. Hillary Clinton is our champion. She is going to fight the challenges. This is Christina Gupana, a Las Vegas attorney and campaign worker. She helps manage the Clinton campaign's voter registration drive. Do whatever that's you called, can. That's called, yeah. Do whatever. It whatever takes. you can get away with, just do it until <laughs> you get kicked out, like totally. We found Hillary campaign workers violating voter registration laws in Nevada by being openly partisan during registration efforts, and they knew it was against the law. Okay. So you're center right, or center left. So, well, I would say Hillary's your girl. You should go for a Democrat, but you, I can't tell you to do one or the other. Yeah. that's not my job. So I'm gonna let you decide. I definitely don't want Donald Trump. Because <laughs> you can register, but like they don't what? They don't want you being like partisan or whatever, like endorsing a candidate? Like, like, <laughs> well, yeah, kind of like that. Because like me and Henry, um, I know that's how we missed it. We got kicked out from the uh, Well, we were told we can't push HRC anymore in front of a library. You can't what? We can't push HRC Hillary in front of a library. Oh, uh, why? Because, um, because they're, they're afraid of like, you know, the, the voter registration being uh, the one who's going to do Trump thing. And oh, okay. Because I had like a sign up and a, and a voter registration sign up in front of it. Like on the table I had, um, I had been doing that for like a couple of weeks and like, you know, but they said, no, you can't do that. I was like, oh, okay, I'm sorry. That's not, that's my Want to intern for the Hillary Clinton campaign? What, like, uh, like government building, like at the library or like DMV? Um, We've been able to get away with asking the Hillary question after the after voter registration mm -hmm. for a long time. Yeah. You heard of him? We, what? We oh, you all love him. Yeah. We I'm not done with complaints to a lot of staff. The Harris Network we found that we were doing partisan yeah. Yeah. voter registration. There's also like the way that she works in the library. She what came out with the Nevada there? statute books we and opens it up and starts reading the statute about how you're allowed to. Here is the statute we believe the librarian read to the campaign workers. Quote, a county clerk, field registrar, employee of a voter registration agency or person assisting a voter shall not solicit a vote for or against a particular question or candidate, speak to a voter on the subject of marking his or her ballot for or against a particular question or candidate, unquote. Violation is a felony along with up to $20,000 in fines. There's also like the way that she works in the library, she what came she out with the Nevada statute books we and opens it up and starts like, start reading the statute about how you're allowed to get for Why did she and say that? And Henry like, Engelstein is a Hillary campaign worker who thought it was funny that a library employee would actually call him out for breaking Nevada election laws. And we're like trying to argue with her, we're like, no, 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 she's like, no, it says pretty explicitly here in the statute that this sorts of action is prohibited. So I don't care if you do voter registration, but you can't have the Hillary stuff. That was like my, the saddest day. Dude, she life. had the fucking <laughs> It was like, <laughs> God damn it. So what did she see, the caucus cards? Uh, uh we, had a, we had a sign. There was a sign on the table <laughs> that she came out. You should just like hide all that stuff and like... I know she's that again is Christina Gupana, the lawyer, saying, quote, just hide all that stuff. The logic seems to be if you don't get caught, you haven't done anything wrong. Hi, how are you? Are you guys registered to vote at your current address? I am. Thank you. Okay. Are you registered to vote? The campaign determined that the DMV offices would be a good place to find potential voters. But Nevada sets strict limits on voter registration activities at public buildings. The campaign people seemed to find it amusing when those laws were supposedly broken. You guys can't miss it outside the box. Okay. I followed someone in. I mean, yeah. you went inside. <laughs> yeah, I did so because fun. because there's this guy and they're like, oh, I don't have time. And then people like they want to secure their spot. Yeah. So the guard was only there in the morning and everything. Oh. So I mean, they weren't there. And I'm just thinking, like, why am I gonna? There's like four people or so, and they're waiting in line. Yeah. I and by the time. 
were done because we had to come back for the yeah. meeting, they were going to be in line. The line was probably a two hour long line. So I just went in there and gave him the form and he filled sure. it out. Okay. So. Do whatever that's you called, can. That's called yeah. Do whatever. Whatever you can get away with, just do it until <laughs> you get kicked out, like totally. Yeah. Like within the law, we, the we law. talk about ask for forgiveness, not for permission. Philip Kim is an organizer for Hillary for America. Here he warns his staff about getting caught doing stupid things on hidden camera. Perhaps Philip Kim should instruct his staff to not break the laws rather than be worried about getting caught by our hidden cameras. Just a reminder again before um, about like the scandals that pop up, the stingers, right? The people who video record like, hey, my mom's not here, but can I register her to vote? Right. Same applies for um, just like that situation where someone's, I'm a felon, can I register her to vote? Just be like, if you don't know, take the information down, yeah. I'll call you back, period. That way we avoid being caught on camera saying stuff that we don't know. Okay. There's a familiar refrain from the Hillary for America campaign in Nevada, and it should worry every American voter. The style of campaign that we do is like we, we, do, we just we just ask if they fix what they want, and then if we're not allowed to do that, then we can ask for forgiveness. But we just we just um, not for permission. Within the law, we the we law. talk about ask for forgiveness, not for permission. It's like don't ask for permission, but beg for forgiveness. But yeah, basically, we uh, it's easier to it's it's. It's better to beg for forgiveness than ask for permission. <laughs> you guys are allowed to have like campaign material with voter red. Cause I know you can't do that in Washington. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we kind of abide by the like ask for forgiveness type of thing. <laughs> <laughs> do whatever that's you called, can. That's called, yeah. Do whatever. Whatever you can get away with, just do it. So I'm standing in front of the Hillary campaign headquarters here in Brooklyn, New York. How you doing? Oh, my name is James O'Keefe. I'm a journalist. We're doing an investigation on the Hillary Clinton campaign. Wondering if we could speak with someone to get comment. It's like an undercover investigation. We caught top director on tape. Don't, don't, don't. They won't do it. Even if they're caught breaking the law. Okay. 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 So we, we can't get a comment from anybody? Sorry. No? All right. So as you can see, this did not go so well. We tried to get in. We couldn't. But we're standing in front of the Brooklyn headquarters for the Hillary Clinton campaign. As you can see in the video, they're breaking election laws. They're laughing about breaking election laws. A lawyer for the Nevada campaign says, just hide it, keep doing it until you get caught. This pattern of malfeasance is starting to look like a disease, a plague of dishonesty. Remember, this is the third undercover video we released into the Hillary campaign. And the videos are going to keep coming until this campaign starts obeying the law. So stay tuned, Hillary. And remember, check your email. You've got mail.